Paul Michael Stephanie was an American serial killer. He was also known as the weepy voiced killer due to a series of telephone calls he made to police, anonymously reporting his crimes in a remorseful and high-pitched voice. On December 31, 1980, Stephanie beat Karen Patak in St. Paul, Minnesota, inflicting severe wounds and brain injury. Stephanie himself called police at 3 a.m. to report the attack, directing police to a location where, there is a girl her there. His next victim was Kimberly Compton, an 18-year-old student from Pepin, Wisconsin on June 3, 1981 in neighboring Minneapolis. After killing her, he again contacted police pleading, God damn, will you find me? I just stabbed somebody with an ice pick. I can't stop myself. I keep killing somebody. Two days later he called police to say he was sorry for stabbing Compton and would turn himself in, but did not. On June 6, he called to say newspaper accounts of some of the murders were inaccurate. His next call was on June 11. In a whimpering, barely coherent voice he cried, I'm sorry for what I did to Compton. His next victim was Kathleen Greening, who was found dead at her home just outside St. Paul. Stephanie later confessed to drowning her in her bathtub at her Roseville residence. His fourth victim, and last murder victim, was Barbara Simons, a 40-year-old nurse on the Minneapolis side of the Mississippi River. The two met at the Hexagon Bar, after Stephanie asked Simons for a cigarette, which she gave him. After spending the night at the bar with Stephanie, Simons told a waitress, he's cute. I hope he's nice, since he's giving me a ride home. Simons was found stabbed to death the next day. There were no calls after Greening's death, but the weepy-voiced killer contacted police after the murder of Simons. Please don't talk, just listen. I'm sorry I killed that girl. I stabbed her 40 times. Kimberly Compton was the first one over in St. Paul. Her autopsy showed he stabbed her more than 100 times. Stephanie picked up a 19-year-old sex worker named Denise Williams on August 21, 1982, in Minneapolis. Williams sensed something was wrong when Stephanie began driving through a dark suburban area, rather than returning her back to the city where he originally picked her up. After turning onto a dead-end road, he stabbed her 15 times with a screwdriver. During the attack, Williams was able to hit Stephanie on the head with a glass bottle, causing cuts to his head and face. Her screams drew the attention of a man who lived nearby, and upon seeing Stephanie trying to stab Williams again, began to wrestle with him, causing Stephanie to flee the scene. The man was able to call for an ambulance and later help identify Stephanie. However, when Stephanie returned home to his apartment, he noticed he was bleeding badly and sought medical help. It was this call that confirmed Stephanie was the weepy-voiced killer and linked him to the Williams attack. Further in-depth investigative work later connected Stephanie to the murder of Simons.